Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Wired for Crappie. We are on What's Part today, and we're going to do something. We're going to get back to teaching, okay, is what we're going to do today. Uh, I've had a lot of questions over the last couple weeks. First and foremost, how do I set my live scope? What are my settings? And, and it's so hard to explain settings to live scope to somebody because it changes every time you move your boat. Um, your depth changes, your forward range may change, um, your gain may change, your water clarities, your, your uh, silt in the water. There's so many things that could change. So we're gonna go through that today. I'm gonna show you how to adjust those settings each time you move your, your boat or your live scope to a different spot. And hopefully it helps you guys out. And then next week, um, we're gonna pull off live scope all together. We're gonna go back to the basics. I'm gonna show you guys how to catch fish without live scope. Let's say you don't have live scope and you're just trying to go out and catch some fish. I'm gonna try my best to show you how I do it without live scope. I've done that before in a couple videos previously, but it's been a while since I've done that. So, you know, not everybody can go out and buy a live scope and I understand that, um, certainly. So we're gonna teach you guys how to catch them without it next week. Um, but anyway, we're going to get right to it, and we'll be right back with you, and we'll see you here in just a little bit. Hope it helps. All right, guys. Welcome back. So as you can see here, we've got a brush pile. And if you can tell, the bottom right here isn't at the bottom of our screen and we're out 40 feet. So you lose a lot of picture. See how small that brush pile looks in that photo or on that screen? And there are some fish in this brush pile. You can see them down in the brush pile, but you can't see because it's so small. So first thing that I tell people, you wanna utilize this whole screen where you can, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to menu, we're gonna to go to depth range, and we see there we're at 20.3 20, 20 feet, just about right over 20 feet. So we're gonna go up to 22. I like to be two foot deeper than my depth, okay? So we're at 22 feet. All right, so that takes care of our depth. See how it got picture got bigger or the brush pile got bigger now watch this we're gonna suck this in this forward range we're gonna go to 25 feet 25 feet's a pretty good cast okay so there we got bigger see how much bigger that brush pile looks now we got brush pile now I tell people all the time they ask what about gain and TVG well I run I run my TVG off, okay guys? I like it off because if you, the time varied gain, TVG if you will, is going to take clutter out of the water. Well, when you're throwing a, six, a 30 second or 16th ounce head, you wanna be able to see that head, so you wanna be able to see that clutter. So I leave that off, okay? And then my noise reject, I run on medium to low. I don't ever go above I don't ever go above medium. Medium's about all I run, and today I'll probably run low. There is some silt and things in the water, but I run low to medium on my noise rejection, okay? So we'll go back to our gain. Let's talk about gain for a minute. Now, your gain. <clears throat> you want to see as much as you can. If you look at that brush pile, you watch that brush pile, the higher I turn this up, the more the brighter and the more jumbled everything gets it kind of bleeds together so you want to run that just where you can see the branches but still pick out the individual fish that are sitting on that brush pile okay that's pretty much it guys now if i were to move places okay if i was to move to another spot and it's in 15 feet of water i'm going to go I'm going to change my depth. I'm going to go to 17 feet. I'm going to go to my forward view. I might change it to 
if I'm sitting right over top of that brush pile and I'm fishing right over top of that brush, I may change it to 15 feet. The more you reduce these forward ranges, the bigger your pile is going to appear. Okay, that's at 15 feet. Look how big that pile looks right there on that screen. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's not that complicated, but Garmin has to be changed. Okay, your live scope has to be changed every time you switch brush piles, every time you move docks, every time you move structure, you have to change your live scope so that your depth and your forward view reflect how you're fishing. Okay, and then your gain, if it were me, I run TVG off all day long every time i fish i run my noise rejection okay my noise reject lower medium whichever one if there's a lot of silt in the water i may turn it up to medium but for east tennessee i generally run it on low and then all you have to worry about from there guys is your gain okay you just take your gain up remember the higher you take this gain up the more everything's going to bleed together and you're not going to get good um returns so you want to match you don't want to get no returns okay you don't want to go too low but you want to go low enough so that you can see those individual fish in that brush pile okay now let me get a bait we'll drop a bait down there now this is on a 30 second ounce head There goes my bait, guys. You can see it falling over top of that brush pile. Okay, I'm running braid today, so you can even see the line in the water. The thing is, is you've got to get that screen. There goes the bait down, bait down. You've got to get that screen so that you utilize as much of it as possible. Here comes a fish. He's right on the bait. Here we go, now we're getting on them. The jig falling right here, guys. The jig right there. Here comes a fish, there he is. There he is better fish oh yeah a lot better fish that's a good fish right there nice white crappie all right here comes our jig right here There he is. There's a fish. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps you guys with understanding live scope and how to how to use your live scope and how to set your uh, your settings for your live scope so that you can see fish. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Tell me. But uh, that's how I run mine and that's how I adjust it. Sorry, I got a boat coming. that's how I adjust mine guys that's how I uh, you know change it every time you move you have to change it I can't stress that enough uh, you know you've got to be all the time changing your live scope there is no magical setting for live scope I wish there was 
there's just not you've got to uh, you got to understand how it works and how to use it and uh, I appreciate you guys watching we'll see you next week God bless <laughs>